Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and a new video. I'm back with another great workout. And also, one thing that we're gonna discuss today is to get to the bottom of what time under tension means. Um, I've got a lot of messages from people like all over that they have problems to find the contact and to feel how the muscles are working when we are doing different exercises. So, I have the best method in the freaking world for you today. We're gonna go to the gym, me, you guys, and Robin, and we're gonna hit a upper body session. We have put together this session so you can just go to the gym and do exactly as we are doing it and just follow our lead. What I also want to say before we begin is that time under tension means that the time your muscles are under tension when training. Like when we go to the gym for example it's really common that we just we go in we do our biceps curls we do our reps and then we move on to the next exercise and sometimes we can't find the contact and we can't find the muscles and feel how the muscles are working through those sets and reps so today's video is basically to to show you another way of training and a really good way to really find the muscle contact. For example, when we're doing squats and when it says 3-1-1, I want you to think that we're gonna hold the weights in the negative way down. So in the lowering phase, in this case, we're doing one, two, three seconds down in a squat, stopping for one second and then push up, explosive, one second. So that's like the time your muscles are under tension. So we're gonna do one, two, three down, just hold for one second and then up again. Sometimes they're also like, sometimes there is a zero and then you have no pause at all in the bottom of the exercise. And also this method is gonna be used in my new guide that's gonna be released soon, like very soon, okay? Very soon, so be ready for that one because you don't want to miss out on this one man this guy is gonna be so good it's gonna be so good now you know this so in this video that we're gonna do today we will be doing one one three and one one two mostly one one three so in this case when we're doing for example a lat pull down we're gonna start in the top pulling down Stopping for one second and then holding the weights on the way back. So this is also like the negative face up to where you started. So this is also going to help you with the control in the exercises. It's going to help you control the whole thing and it's going to help you find the muscles. And then we also have one, one, two. And you get that, that's like just one, one and one, two up. So that is what we're going to work with today. A lot of that is going to be in this workout today. So stay with us and let's go to the gym. We're in the gym and we are about to start the workout. So we're going to go through all the exercises and Robin is going to demonstrate at first and then I'm going to do the exercises. So explaining everything on how you're training time under tension when doing different exercises. So first up is standing barbell rows. That's the first one. And he's loading up, so. He's gonna start and he's gonna hold the barbell in a neutral grip, like he's doing it. And standing in position, going down, row explosive on the way up, and then hold it one, two, three, down. Up, one, two, three, down. This is time under tension. This is the time that your muscles are under tension when training. So, rowing up the weights, explosive up, and then hold it on the negative on the way down. Lowering face in this, in this exercise, we're gonna do it three seconds down. So one, two, three, and then up again. Good. A 
Exercise number two is the lat pull down. Robin is gonna demonstrate. Uh, most often when you do time under tension, you also need to lower the weights a little bit just because it's gonna be so much more heavy. So Robin is gonna go explosive down and then holding it one, two, three, up. One, two, three. And then stop for like just a second in the beginning of the exercise. So one, two, three, stop and then pull it against you in in uh, explosive way. So like one second he's going one down and then one, two, three. Stop for one and then one down, one, two, three in the negative way back. And this is doing so much work with your muscles and in this case the lats. You can see how they are working holding the weights on the way back. Good. Hiding in the bungalow, she felt so young. The night she was much younger than the other. Feeling like a prisoner, there in the light. She stood, she knew they couldn't miss her. And then they took her as her walked over life day. Moving on to exercise number three and this is the lateral race and we're gonna work with the outside of the shoulders we're gonna do one and a half rep so Robin is gonna demonstrate we're going up and then down halfway and then up again and holding in the negative way on the way down this is for sure gonna burn your shoulders to the ground so he's doing one up and then a half one, so it's going up, one and a half down, and then all the way down in a slowly movement. So once again, time under tension, going up, and one, two, down. Up, a half rep, and then one, two, down. Moving on, next exercise is the seated front race with dumbbells and this is how we're doing it. So sitting down, lifting up the weights, holding them one, two, three down. This is also a really heavy exercise. So choose your weights after how many reps you're gonna do. And in our case, we're gonna do at least 10. So this is gonna burn. So you can see how Robin is turning the weights a little bit like with his uh, hand wrists. He's going up and then holding one, two, three, down. Stop, one, two, three, and down. So he's stopping in the bottom of the exercise for one second and then he's going up and then one, two, three, down. Good. And as you can see, we have the incline on the bench at 60 degrees. Nice. Come on. Okay, so we're done with the back and we're done with the shoulders. And now we're gonna go over to doing some uh, biceps. And uh, we have two really good exercises walking you through the whole thing. As I said in my intro, you can train this whole workout and it will target your whole upper body. Yes, next exercise is for the biceps and this is the spider curls. We're gonna lie down on the bench with an incline on 15 degrees. This is a really good incline for this exercise. So as you can see, Robin is curling up the weights and holding the weights once again in the negative way back. One, two, three. Stopping at one second, curling up, explosive, and then one, two, three, down. 
and you can see on his face expression that this is a little bit heavy. We're locking the, the muscles. They need to work so much more to hold the weights up and this is making the exercise so much more heavy. And it's a really good way to find the contact in the muscles. So it's curling up, going one, two, three, down. Stop for one second, up, explosive, one, two, three, down. Good. But an order is an order. She was a prisoner there in the light. She stood, but she knew they couldn't break her. And by the shore, the bombs were falling with the snow. Next exercises for the biceps is gonna be incline dumbbell curls. So, seated also, of course. So, Robin is gonna demonstrate. Curling up the weights, holding one, two, three. Stopping for one second in the bottom and then curling up explosive. Once again, when we're doing time under tension, we are forcing the muscles to work more to hold the weights up more. We're having the incline at 60 degrees. We're gonna move over to the next exercise for the triceps, and this is the skull crushes. So, first of all, we wanna get this exercise right. So Robin is gonna demonstrate. When you have this position, that don't actually activate your triceps as much. So, you wanna lean your arms as Robin is doing it at the moment, and then also try to hold down your shoulders. When you're leaning your arms in that position, you're activating your triceps more. So. Then we're gonna do the exercise. So we're going one, two, three in a skull crush and then up explosive. And you can also see the grip he's having. Good. Last exercise, which is for the abs, and we're gonna do cable crunches. And we will show you the best way to do this exercise. This is gonna change your whole cable ab crunches experience. Sitting down on your knees, and also see how Robin, Robin, <laughs> see how Robin is holding the rope. Also, just observe how he's holding it. He's going up a little bit, so he gets the stretch in the top of the exercise. He gets the stretch in the abs, and then he crunches together the abs, and then holding one, two, three, back. Boom. And you can also see that he's really crunching together the abs. This is a crunch. This is supposed to be a crunch, so you should crunch together and then also blow out the air. We're done. That was a good session. That was a good session, wasn't it, Boo? It was. It was. To train time under tension is really like it's so good to just mix your workouts with this method because any exercise can be so much more heavy when you're training like this and it's also so much easier to find the contact in your muscles when doing this method um, when I first started doing this it was like a whole new world so I really hope that you want to try it out I promise that you will get some sore muscles Okay, so we're gonna go home and eat some food and uh, I'll see you in my next video. So have an awesome day Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel YouTube channel subscribe <laughs>
See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.